Dr. Andrew, uh, thank you uh, for joining me today on Press Day. Absolutely. Pleasure to be here. Exciting times that we have. Letter Kenny, the final season. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I'm sad about this. I am sad as well. I'm devastated. Haven't stopped crying. <laughs> so, oh, super <laughs> down. <laughs> so, I can see those tears. Wipe them away. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I watched I watched the final season and I loved it. Like I said, uh, it's a sad ending, you know. But you know, it was time to wrap this uh, this series up. Uh, so what are you hoping for these? We have diehard Letty, Letter Kenny fans out there. What are you hoping they get out of this final season? Uh, Andrew, we'll start with you first. Yeah, I think I, I hope they get a bit of closure. You know, um, kind of like you know, I feel like equilibrium was kind of reestablished. Uh, I can speak for you know uh, Jonesy and Riley. It felt like you know they kind of came back full circle to where you know things started off. When you think about cold open, uh, they're still with Katie Cat and they're still still getting made fun of by the Hicks. So I felt like there's a familiar tune to that uh, that all, and then to see the skids and Tyler you know, finally get that rave he'd been rooting for. I just feel like everyone kind of, I hope that they they had a lot of laughs. And um, I know like, you know, as a viewer, you get really connected. You feel like, you know, these people. And I hope that at the end of the day, I hope that, yeah, they, they leave off with some, some uh, warm closure. How about you, Andrew? I mean, Um, Tyler. It's okay. Yeah. Um, I I fully agree with what Andrew said. Hopefully they feel like it it was wrapped up in in a way that, you know, we were able to kind of control our own destiny in that regard, right? It was, uh, it's not like you, you know, you went 82 episodes into a show and there's a cliffhanger and then you, you, yeah. so you, you never know what happens next, you know? <laughs> yeah. Everybody, everybody hates those shows where you never get to the, the answer, right? And, you know, a show like Letterkenny, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, a, you know, a Game of Thrones or something where there's this monumental moment that everyone's been working towards. It's a community that has been, you know, growing together and, I think for the opportunity for my character in particular to get a second chance at throwing a rave and having the support of the community. I hope fans feel the sense of community and I hope uh, people uh, can watch the show and, and, and laugh and maybe, you know, step away from any stressors in their own life and, and understand that, uh, that the, the, that community is an important part of life. And uh, like Andrew expressed earlier, if we can all hear each other out a little bit more and, and be a little bit less judgmental, then perhaps we'd uh, all be living in a better place. Right. So with your characters too, Stuart and Jonesy, how would you describe now their journey throughout these seasons to the the final, pretty much the final episode? How, how would you explain, describe it? Well, I used to say that Stuart used to think he was the evil villain of Letterkenny. You know, he was kind of the Grinch who uh, he was living on top of the hill, except it was his mother's basement. And uh, I, I think he realizes, you know, that uh, there's more to the world than your your three yes men, uh, essentially. Um, uh, you know, there's uh, there's a whole world out there. And if you don't put yourself out, you're never going to grow. And uh, I think Stuart grew over the years. Uh, you know, he got himself uh, a girlfriend in Katie for about 43 seconds until she broke up with him. And then she, he got a girlfriend in Gay. And then he got a couple more girlfriends later on when he put on some muscle mass. So I think he's uh, he's learned that you have to put yourself out there uh, to uh, to truly grow. Yeah, I think uh, very similar to, you know, in, in real life, a lot of ways, uh, when Riley and Jonesy first started the show, they were playing junior hockey. You know, I thought they were, you know, Zeus squared, you know, they're, they're king shit. And um, a lot of bravado, a lot of cockiness. And I think they, they ultimately matured a little bit, not a lot, but they ultimately matured and showed more of their vulnerable side and, you know, actually admitted to like potentially loving, uh, uh, without saying it, without, you know, like loving, uh, Katie, who I feel like they all, Katie was always in their mind one way or another throughout the seasons between, you know, all the slam pieces that, you know, happened. And um, yeah, I think they, they just kind of, they, they kind of matured uh, and got, got, became a little bit more of the man and a little less, a little less the boy. Mm. Play these characters for so long. What's, uh, what's one thing you're going to miss about these characters? Me personally, I'm going to miss the opportunity to be as ridiculous as I possibly can. You know, there was no line I couldn't cross. Uh, I feel <clears throat> able to show up to set every day and just really go for it, swing for the fences. And if I did by chance go too far, our director Jacob would kind of reel me in a little bit. So 
uh, I'm going to miss the opportunity to just really go for it. Um, you know, comedy uh, is a big, it's a big component of comedy, right? If the audience sees that you're hesitant, then it's just not as funny. So uh, I'm, I'm going to miss just being able to be as silly as humanly possible. Yeah, I'm gonna miss a lot of the uh, a lot of the scenes where it's like you know back the back and forth the the rapid fire uh, stuff that Riley and Jonesy did, especially in the earlier seasons. Um, I also just it's silly, but I always loved when there was a, a very attractive woman in the in a scene, and uh, Jonesy just be like snipe. Like I just I don't know why, but I'm gonna miss the, those like little moments that uh, obviously I can't go around in Toronto just saying snipe at every attractive woman I see. So. Um, being able to like, so aggressively, uh, you know, cat call, I guess it is, is super unrealistic. Uh, I, I was never really like that in real life, I swear, but it, just the ridiculousness of that was, was always pretty fun. So uh, the last episode or the last scene, you know, uh, I liked the whole, uh, the moments you see the pictures kind of like the slideshow type of thing, like, uh, reflecting the journey pretty much with the characters. Uh, what was your favorite moment about that? Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to see this season. I, I'm actually in Sweden right now, so when I get home, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch it. But I did see some clips uh, over the course of uh, you know the editing process in this yeah. and uh, the shots of the empty empty locations. I mean, it was uh, super impactful and emotional. Uh, you know, those were sets that we've come to uh, you know be part big parts of our lives, right? I spent a lot of time in that basement, and I you know we spent mm -hmm. time in Modines and. Uh, seeing those empty frames was uh, certainly an emotional uh, emotional moment yeah I, I did have a chance to watch it um i i think the one word for me is just it's very it, it, it's visceral you feel it in your stomach because it's like tyler said uh, those those places are like symbols of of, of memories that we've had um that kind of transcend the actual location so when you see them all empty it really yeah it just hits it, it hits hard it, it, yeah it, yeah it's pr pretty emotional for me because you just oh, you just get a flood of memories yeah sorry yeah you just get no a no i kept you off buddy yeah yeah last question if they called you two three years from now we're doing a movie are you guys on for it why are we waiting two or three years yeah, Hondo P, buddy. Let's go. I got the wig in my suitcase, just in case. Yeah, I got a, I got a mobile gym. I'm always lifting. <laughs> we stay ready so we don't got to get ready. ready. A, A, B, C, always be lifting, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tyler, <laughs> Andrew, uh, uh, this was great. Uh, thank you for giving us today. I'm impressed. Yeah, thank absolutely. you very much. Thanks Pleasure. for watching the show. Thanks for watching right. the show. Thank yeah. you.